In this tips and tricks video, we're going to talk about how to create a call to action button for your website. In a previous video, we talked a little bit about how to create an inline call to action that you place in the middle of the content of your page or your blog post. Here we are again on that post, and what we'd like to focus on today is changing this text here, which is the link to the register now page, and instead replace it with a button, which just looks more attractive and is a bit more encouraging to click on. Now, we showed you in past videos how you could do this using a Google image search or possibly creating one yourself inside of PowerPoint or Microsoft Word. There's also a free online tool that helps you to create buttons as well. And here we are now on their website. It's called thebuttonfactory.com. And you can see here that their interface is pretty simple. We have our preview in the middle of what the button graphic will look like. And up here in the upper left hand corner, we can go ahead and change this text to be whatever we want it to be. In this case, we're going to choose our register now text. And we even have options here to set our font. And in this case, we're going to choose condensed. We can even change some of the styles. We can have it unbolded if we like. Bold actually looks pretty good. Perhaps italicize it. We can even change the size if we like or the color of the font. In this case, white looks really good. There's other options here that are a little bit more advanced, having to do with the text shadow. Over here on the right-hand side, we can see that we can select the style of the box we want to have. In this case, we can have a round box or a rounded box. The round box looks pretty nice, actually. And we can even go ahead and specify a background color if we want. We can choose a gradient, or we can do a solid color, which we're going to do here. You can even select a bubble effect, which sort of creates a glossy appearance for the button, and customize the color. In this case, we'd like to choose something that's a little bit more in line with the palette for our call to action box itself. In this case, we want something that's fairly bright. And what I'm looking for is something more along the lines of an orange color. Let's go ahead and click OK. And all we need to do now is download the button itself by clicking on the download link. So we can go ahead and close this window and return back to our post. All we need to do now is go to the edit post link in our admin bar. Scroll down to the area where the call to action box is. And we're just going to go ahead and delete this entire link here. And instead click on the upload insert icon to add the image of our button graphic. Once we've done that, what we need to do is go to the area on our computer where we saved our graphic and then just drag and drop it into the media uploader. And in the background, you can see from the preview image that our graphic has uploaded. And if we scroll down here, we can see that we have the option to set the link URL, which we can set for the register page on our website, where we actually want to take the registration information. We're going to keep the alignment set to left, which is the default in this case. And we're going to choose to use the full size of the button graphic that we uploaded to keep the text sharp. All we need to do now is click on the Insert into Post button. And here you can see we now have the button on our website. Let's go ahead and click on the Update button. And then from there, let's go ahead and view our post now that it's updated. And as we scroll down, we can see that we now have our Call to Action button inside of our box. And if we click on it, it takes us to the previously created Sign Up Now page, where the visitor can register for your Call to Action. 